Welcome to Alley 55 Customs. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do a reset on your oil change required service engine light. Um, I went ahead and changed the oil and so we're just gonna go for a customer and I am gonna go ahead and uh, reset that. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so, so first off, um, if you do not have one of these, it's the uh, OBD2 code reader uh, vehicle diagnostic tool. Um, you cannot reset your service interval um, oil uh, light. But uh, most of your um, OBD2 code readers uh, have this function. There are some that do not have it. But anyways, go ahead and plug into, if you do have it, go ahead and plug into your OBD2 port. Turn your car to the on position. And you're not going to start it. You're just going to turn it on so you have all your lights come up. Okay, so now if you do not have a, uh, a code reader um, and, and you're planning on working on uh, some cars, uh, it, it's a really useful thing to have. I use them daily at my place. So what I would highly recommend is to pick one up. There's different makes and models and stuff, but it is the, this one that I'm using is a little spendy. It's about 2,800 bucks. And this is the Autel Maxi System Elite. Um, you do not need to go, you know, to this caliber. Uh, Autel makes a wonderful product. I back them 100%. I've been using them for years. And uh, you can buy other ones through them that are, you know, two, three, 400 bucks and do just the same thing like oil resets and uh, vehicle diagnostic. So, uh, you know, read your codes, clear codes, uh, it helps you fix the problem in your vehicle. So let's go ahead and get this uh, oil reset. So you go in and hit forward. And then we're gonna do an automatic VIN selection. That way you know the, everything about that vehicle. So it picks up the VIN number and it tells you everything that's in the vehicle equipped with. Um, so, oops, hit the wrong button. So we want to go to the uh, read and I'm going to pull away from that because I don't want you to see the VIN number. And we'll hit OK. OK, so now as it's uh, <clears throat> doing the VIN information decoding, Okay, it pops up, it tells you basically what it is. You know, yes, it's correct, hit yes. <clears throat> Sometimes it takes a few minutes for it to get all the data loaded. But, uh, yeah, I've dealt with uh, many different products uh, over the years, and uh, you know, Bosch makes a good product, uh, but I keep coming back to the Autel. Um, so now, anyways, you can go into the uh, uh, diagnostic uh, part of it, which is here, or you can go in and select the hot function, which that's where we're going to go because we want to um, individually select what we want to do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into your oil reset, and uh, we'll go ahead and hit that. Now we're gonna do a manual oil reset, so we do need to get into the vehicle, and we're going to have to do uh, a series of different things. So I'll show you here in a second. Um, so anyways, so there you go. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna get in there. Um, you have to turn the key to the on position, like I stated earlier. Um, press both the accelerator and the brake pedal at the same time. Keep both, pedal, uh, both pedals pressed uh, down fully. Um, you know, and then you're just going to go through and after three seconds, the service oil reset in, pro in progress um, message will be displayed. After 25 seconds, the oil reset complete message will be displayed. <coughs> reset, um, or sorry, release both the accelerator and brake pedal. The service oil reset complete message will no longer be displayed. Rotate the key to the off position, um, you know, and so let's get going. Okay, so now that uh, we're in the vehicle, what you're going to do is you're going to press both the brake and the accelerator pedal at the same time. So you're going to push them both in at the same time, and you're going to keep both pedals fully pressed down. 
Uh, after three seconds, the service oil reset in progress message will be displayed, which there it is right there. So there you go. And now um, what we're going to do is uh, release after 25 seconds when that goes away. Okay, now it says complete. You release both of your um, your gas pedal, the accelerator, and the brake pedal at the same time. Now the service oil reset uh, message will no longer be listed. So let's take a look. Okay, so now we have the key out. Let's put it in. I'm gonna start it. Okay, engine on. And then it should come up right next. If it's successful, it won't be there. Okay. And there you go. So there we just reset it. And uh, the only time it'll come back up is when another oil change is needed. Uh, if you do not have this, the only way to reset it is you're going to... Um, um, you know, well, I mean, now you can actually, each vehicle is different. So um, you might have to take it into the dealer, but if you have a code reader, it'll, t it'll walk you through the steps on how to, uh, you know, delete that out of your system. So anyways, there you go. I'm gonna do a ton of videos on this code reader. So if you want to learn more about it, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and I will go in depth on, uh, you know, odometer stuff doing uh, uh emu keys you know um just everything we're gonna do throttle response uh, uh you know a drive time and all, all different kind of things so uh give me a thumbs up um you know subscribe um have a good day